27 past the hour, nearly three weeks after the contested election in Venezuela, which seemed to show the opposition winning in a landslide, Nicolás Maduro continues to insist he won without presenting any evidence of the results of the election. More than 2,000 people, meanwhile, have been arrested. More than 20 killed. The repression and the detentions continue. And with us now is Venezuelan opposition leader Maria Corina Machado. Maria Corina, thank you so much for being with us. We're coming up on three weeks since the presidential election. All indications are that your candidate won in a landslide. Maduro says he's not going anywhere. More than 2,000 people have been arrested, more than 25 killed by the regime. He's called you a terrorist. He wants to see you and Edmundo arrested. What is your reality right now? Well, first of all, uh, I feel absolutely proud of the Venezuelan people, how we overcame all obstacles against uh, the cruelty of the regime and were able to have massive participation. And in fact, Edmundo Gonzalez won by a landslide, 67 percent of the votes. Also, we were able to gather original tally sheets. We were uh, able to digitalize them. We have them on a web page so that everybody in Venezuela and abroad can see the actual official results. Nicolás Maduro has denied this and has decided to, to unleash a campaign of terror, persecution against uh, citizens that are peacefully protesting our right to choose. And he has decided as well to detain uh, hundreds of, of uh, political leaders, many of them right now are in, which are in, in hiding. And uh, Maricorina, yesterday, uh, Brazilian President Lula, a close ally of Maduro, suggested there should be a power sharing set up with Maduro and the opposition, or that there would be new presidential elections scheduled and carried out. What do you think of those? Well, the elections already took place, and, uh, uh, and uh, everybody knows the results. So uh, calling for a second election would mean that if Maduro doesn't like that result, then we would have prefer, uh, probably uh, he would be asking for a third or a fourth or a fifth. I mean, it already happened. Popular sovereignty and the will of the people has to be respected. Well, Maria Gorina, history shows that there are very few cases in which dictators or authoritarians leave power or relinquish power voluntarily. What makes you think that in this case, history can be changed? Well, uh, we were told also that there are very few cases in which we could demonstrate uh, 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 our, our victory against a regime that controls all the, the electoral process. And we did. So right now, uh, it is not by his own will that he is standing where he's standing. He, 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 Maduro lost total touch with reality. He, he never expected that so many people, this massive participation, would uh, turn out uh, the day of the election, but even less that we were ready and prepared to prove our victory. So he is in the weakest situation ever. He has no legitimacy whatsoever, and, and promoting violence only gets him in a tougher as, and more and more isolated position. This is a huge, huge movement of the international community that realizes that um, the conflict in Venezuela is the single most important issue in the Western Hemisphere. And I have to insist on this, not only because of the ties of Maduro with Russia and Iran, but if, if Maduro decides to stay by force for more months and, and, and prolong this tragedy, we could be seeing millions of Venezuelans in a matter of months crossing our borders. I'm talking about three, four, or five millions of Venezuela that will go all the way up Central America and many to the uh, southern border of the United States. So this is an issue that is absolutely a priority for all. And, and, our, and our commitment is to stop this tragedy and have all or many of those Venezuelans who have left come back home. 
Uh, Maricorina, tomorrow is a day you are calling for people to come out and go on the streets peacefully, not only in Venezuela, but throughout the world. The last time you called for people to come out, you actually showed up. You have an arrest warrant. They have killed and arrested people that work with you and those who are participating in a democratic process that has been stymied by the regime. How are you doing and how are you going to continue when there is a huge target on your back? There is a huge target in the back of many, many Venezuelans, and we are not going to let go. We will not abandon our people. We will keep on moving this movement forward and growing and growing every day that goes by. Tomorrow, is a unique day. I think it will be historic because I I know we will not only only see Venezuelans around the world getting together with those of us that are here in our country. They know that many citizens, Democrats around the world, will join us uh, to let Maduro know that we are not alone uh, and that we won't we won't let go. So um, it, it is certainly. Dangerous, and and we know the risks we are facing, but we've come a long way, and uh, I really trust the Venezuelan people, and I I am convinced that Venezuela will be a free country, so that we can have our children and our families back together. That's the force that Maria, moves us. Maria Corina Machado, thank you very much for being with us.